Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'll do another uh, ride on the new bike Diva U C3 model. So it will be day three now and the challenge continue. So let me get back on the bicycle and tell you more about it as well. All right, so this Diva U C3, it comes with a rear rock, headlight which actually nicer than just ball pro if you ever saw because the headlight moving together with the wheel as you can see also it has a tail light and a brake light so let's go and talk about this bike so to turn it on you just press the power button over here it's a headlight button you hold it for five seconds or you can also push it while you're using the throttle and the power actually on the back very weak but we'll talk about it and see how fast it can go actually on camera but again it's not about this bike today it's about the challenge i started for 30 days riding different bicycles and let's see if it's connected yep okay so um, this one you can pedal and I'm 5'11", 215 pounds so some people say oh this bicycle probably too small for you and they probably kind of right because not as a size wise small but I just find out this bicycle only maximum load it's 165 pounds and I just made the finish the video which I'm gonna publish probably either today probably today and then I'll okay I don't feel like pedal assist right now let's see if I can yeah for some reason no pedal assist oh it gave me pedal assist but very weak um let's see how fast it on throttle only the battery actually not a full charge already because i rode it for the video and there is no display so i don't know how much i rode so but i can go about 13 miles an hour right now it's a bit windy my wind my way not that windy but the wind my way so right now it's only 13 miles an hour which now it's about the same as just ball pro i guess yeah, it's about but i'm planning to pedal this bike um i know it might look ridiculously funny if you see me on this bicycle like a clown but it was one of the diva u making jason ball pro and jason ball pro become one of the popular and they actually sold so many i'm not sure exactly how many they sold but they sold much more than 100,000 electric bicycles uh, under Jetson Bolt and the Jetson brand because Jetson basically don't make their own bicycle so Diva U make for them few models which is um, currently Jetson Bolt Pro and Jetson Bolt without pedals at least, with a smaller wheels so this bike have 14 inch wheels uh, it's uh, actually not bad pedaling better than uh, e, uh, better than um, e-moped style I see so this bike can perform better for pedaling than most of the e-moped style bikes but you can only pedal like right now 12 miles an hour that's actually pretty decent for riding at the beach and I'm riding not on the street on the sidewalk which is also uh, nice just need to be careful not to run over some uh, curbs or any like problem on the road because if you hit uh, any like uneven surface you might just fly uh, the wheels only 14 inch but that's why it's not going that fast and I may ride just street over here uh, oh boy, I didn't ride this mini bike for a long time 
but I had few Jetson Bolt Pro, Haze, I sold them all because they are not as fast and they are made out of steel so it makes them heavy Haze are made out of aluminum but still it's only like up to 60 miles an hour I believe uh, the last testing so it's still not as fast that's why I don't have it anymore and um, yeah I'm gonna probably ride for less time today but the weather so nice we may go for hiking more today so yeah it's a nice bicycle if somebody who wants to go for uh, to use it for commuter mm -hmm. and they're inexpensive so it's affordable great bicycle for someone to own put in a trunk and they're about 45 pounds which is not the slightest for this size but they're made out of steel so due to the fact that it's made out of steel so it uh, might get more corrosion if you live by the uh, ocean or any humidity area uh, that's uh, another negative about buying like a bicycle out of steel uh, if you want aluminum I would recommend to go one baht mini bicycles all of them made out of aluminum and actually the quality pretty premium compared to this bike because they do come with a lot of features and I don't want to bash any company I mean this bike it's worth the money 350 dollars it's nice uh, bike but again as I said before all depends on your needs and if your needs are different so you might want to look for different bikes that's why I create the website ebikesadvisory.com where I'm gonna put a phone number so you guys can call up and talk probably to me first and I can direct you to the right direction maybe if you ask me a question about the e-bikes I already tested so this challenge about 30 e-bikes if you're first time watching this video this challenge for 30 bikes riding uh, everyday different e-bike regardless of the size quality speed so th today is day three as I said before and um, this bike actually nice to ride and I just got it actually recently and uh, it's my second day riding my son rode this bike as well he likes it but I'm gonna make probably video later on asking him on his opinion and the kids usually don't lie they will tell you exactly what they like or don't like because he rides this one and not the bike so this bike actually more for people who is uh, lighter weight I guess but it's a step through so um, my son like seven years old he can easily ride it because the seat can go very low on this bike as well the handlebar are a little bit high I wish they have adjustable handlebar as well but you can probably do something about this as well if you need it but this bike good for, and they put in manual it's only good for people as they recommend for 16 years old and over so I think they was doing it for Europe or Canada because I think Canada uh, minimum age to ride electric bicycle is 16 years old in USA I believe it's 14 but when I'm riding right now I don't feel like I have pedal assist let me turn off so bicycle completely off and let me turn on yeah I don't get any pedal assist right now I think it's something wrong with the bicycle yeah something and to turn on the cruise control you use the throttle and then press the button and then it will just in cruise more control to turn off you just twist the throttle it will turn off so it's a cool feature on this inexpensive bicycle to ride to work or anywhere but for some reason uh, the pedal assist doesn't work on it I need to check out 
what's wrong but that's kind of surprised me and again I don't promote one company versus another but I'll tell you what my opinion on them and talking about the different companies since I review and I talk to many companies and I actually reviewed some of the companies more than one bike like for example um, Senada bikes I reviewed probably over seven electric bicycle from them and I wanted to talk about many people like having issues sometimes with the bicycles and the most problem like when the company do not respond or do not send you parts when you need it or don't have the part and um, I want to share my experience with all the companies uh, like um, going from the best to the worst um, so that's something we're gonna talk about today I guess every time I'm gonna write we're gonna have different toppings since somebody asked me about uh, goat bike I'm gonna get back to that question later on today about goat dirt bike so let's talk about my best experience and the worst experience with electric bicycles not be asked just my experience okay and it looks like exactly there's no pedal assist so now I'm, I'm just actually riding as a regular bicycle pedaling so and it's not hard I guess so going about eight months now like any traditional bike so and I'm 511 somebody asked me I think in a group Jason Ball Pro if I can ride this bicycle he's 510 yes actually nice I just need to figure out why the pedal assist is not working maybe uh, magnet is defected or something like that it was working I think before but now it's not anyways um, oh now it's working let's see no, it's not working so let's talk about uh, the best company my experience with and that would be like uh, not based on the not based on the quality of the bikes it's not based on the performance of the bikes it's based off uh, when I contact them to have some defects or some issue with the bike how fast and how responsive they are that's based on my experience so number one i would say the best would be Senada bikes uh, they've been in business i think for a few years already uh, i don't remember from 2020 maybe maybe less i don't remember exactly but at least a couple of years already but i i reviewed seven of the bikes uh, I'm not really happy that they still putting mechanical brakes on them but that's something they do it and it's easy to replace it it's not a really big deal they try to be in budget but powerful bikes but my uh, my uh, right now experience about not the quality or bicycle performance about how they handle my cases so anytime I email Eddie or uh, usually I talk to Eddie at uh, Sinada Bikes um, they reply with, within 24 hours depending of course on the uh, if it's uh, holidays or not but uh, oh, that's something bad about small bikes they cannot really speed up too quick only like 30 months now and they can catch you easily so that's a negative about mini bikes but uh, the best print gonna be if you duck run after you probably but um so Senada bikes always respond to me asking for the video or pictures what the problem is and i didn't have many problems but uh, i replaced few controllers from uh, the time when i started uh, on uh, 1000 watt motors and um I replaced a few controllers um, and I made video about that to help others some company would be against to show that they have a show that they was actually uh, supportive and they say oh, yes and then now they send out my video to other uh, people who has the same maybe show to replace the controller so I'm glad they are taking it uh, reasonably um, right so because I'm not making the video to show that the company is bad because actually they are doing good and controller can be bad at any bicycle 
regardless which one you buy expensive or cheap and i know in, in uh, so i did replace few controllers on two different bicycles before and then there was no issue with that but uh, recently let's see what else um yeah they sent me also recently just a new model i got mayor uh i rode it it performed really well actually and then you can see the video uh i just posted recently but the issue was with the bike that when i came home i feel like a little bit like loose uh, actually it was hard to turn the handlebar a little bit not abnormal so i thought i probably tightened the bolt too much turned out to be that the some bearing was missing headset bearing was missing some of them so um, uh, i sent them a picture explain and turned out to be the factory might made the same mistake for all of them so it may be kind of issue with um, all of these models maybe maybe not maybe only my model got missing but i don't blame because it's all put by a human and human does errors so it's not sure we do errors so i'm looking how they fix it so they fix it very quickly by sending me replacement then not only like one bearing they send me they send me full headset uh, replacement so basically if anything got damaged inside it only you can completely remove it because i rode without one of the bearing it was not really a safety concern but more like uh, comfortability turning left or right it was kind of hard if i loosen up the headset would shake a little bit so this, because it was missing so i figured out right away that something wrong but they did send me one and I, it just arrived yesterday and they do send like within a week from china it comes from china i think and they do send very quickly and they do respond and um, i see a lot of people also getting good response so they do take care of uh, consumers based on the warranty terms so you want to read the warranty before buying any electric bicycles because some companies claim to have 10 years and sedan bikes claim to have two years but again depend on the parts but most of the parts cover it for two years as i remember last time i checked but they do have you uh, have two years warranty which is great better than many companies and the bicycle pretty affordable and good price they always have some good sales so number two would be rave uh, with rave uh, they do also have very responsive uh, services uh, i don't have that long experience with them since they just came out like last year but of course uh, i talked to kai and um, they do have more support right now as a uh, company grow they have more support to talk to and they're responsive they uh, take the video or picture send them and they will tell you okay you need to replace this or that so they always quick and just yesterday or two days ago i just received the battery replacement uh they actually told me i don't need one but i'm gonna turn left here but they, they send me one so i'm running right now already two and a half miles not bad uh top speed was 15 miles an hour and there's no pedal assist so i'm just basically working out sometimes using throttle it's still three bars um so they are a pretty good uh, company because they are sending the parts you need to i understand sometimes they cannot send you some of the parts like when they are out of stock like controller usually uh, most companies have issue with controllers because when they produce them they buy them in bulk and if they didn't buy enough and they have problems with them they may run out quickly and then to make new controllers takes about a month to order from a company so even the tires some people think oh why don't you send me right away 
So if they don't have enough in stocks, and most companies don't try to get them in stock because they didn't expect them to be bad, or they got like scammed, I guess, uh, the Rave got scammed on the batteries recently. Uh, the batteries actually have no issue, I heard, uh, but the, bat the reason they replace the battery because the battery was sold to them as a new great Samsung sales battery, like whatever they listed, but turned out to be their older model was, so it was like from COVID time, and uh, so they sent, so the Rave, um, when, as soon as they find out, they issue recall voluntarily, and they send out the bikes at no co uh, the battery at no cost. And to replace the battery, it doesn't really need any special skills. You basically just remove it and insert a new one. I'm not sure if they want to send them back. It says you need to send them back, but I'm waiting for reply because my bike actually was not subject to recall. So that's another question, uh, why they send me one, maybe just for uh, be safer, um, we'll see. So now I have one extra battery, I might send it back to them. Yeah, the bike is actually kind of weird, now it uh, feels like a uh, pillow is working, let's stop. But now it's not. So maybe there's some kind of cut off. Okay, now this is good. Uh, the bad about the, this type of bicycles, there's no display. You don't know if there's any issue like air code or anything. That's why um, I really like uh, mini bikes from one bot because they do have nice display and if you have any issue it would probably populate on the display also you can see like when you press the brakes it would signal like a lot of different information you would get and then you can see the speed how much you would ride the bicycle how many miles and so on so right now I think I still pedal as a regular bicycle but this bicycle actually is electric so it's part of this challenge so number two so rave so it was another rave and number three would be let's think about because I didn't prepare it for this actually and um, Let's see who else send me parts when needed. Oh yeah, uh, Zora bikes. Zora or Yota bikes. Uh, just recent experience uh, with Zora bikes. They send me the tube. Uh, when they saw my post about flat I got on the Zora bike when I was riding with the kids and I get a flat. Um, good that I have slime in it. It's kind of prevent from completely getting flat. So I could, I could get home yet to replace it. So they offer me free tube and they send me within a week. I have a free tube. I was not in a rush, so I replaced. I made a video a little bit how to do it because it's important for some people to see it. You can check probably um, in one of my videos on the Zora bikes li uh, playlist. So they actually been very good responsive company and I like Zora quality of the bikes. And then uh, Yota bikes, now it's uh, they take over the Zora as they say. They, they say they bought the Zora company, but I had a feeling from the beginning, as I said before, they are one company because the parts are about the same. On like, if you check the brakes and display seat, uh, many uh, parts which is not really um, regular, like on every bicycle, it's kind of mostly they go on uh, more heavy duty, like higher speed or really nice brakes or hydraulics. So. 
uh, Yota Leopard and Zora Master have the same setup. So I had like, hmm, they look like very similar in the setup. But they never told me there was uh, one brand until recently I found out. And that makes uh, sense. So recently I got the Yota uh, line model. I did video, but still waiting for the fans, for the kids. We are not riding much right now on one bicycle because it's windy and it's kind of cold. So they better ride the old bicycle at this time. But I damaged the display accidentally because I was walking on the uh, on the bike and I didn't tighten the headset well because I still was a. Uh, uh, readjusting everything to my height position and stuff so when uh, the display was in position not correct position for the time when I moved it basically uh, squished the display and it damaged the display it was working it's still on but I told them okay the display have an issue like I mean got damaged so on and I thought going to, I actually have the similar display from Tenada Bikes, which is on the bike. I thought I'm going to remove it and install it just for video to uh, look nice because um, the black dot, I didn't like it. It was like kind of, it didn't actually disturb the view of the display, but it, does, it just didn't look good for video, I guess. But I decided to leave it on because I couldn't connect the Tenada Bikes display anyways. It was heavy, it had different plugs for some reason, but same model. So I learned something that display might have different comes with different plugs, adapter and stuff uh, versus to the same model. Exactly everything is the same model but different uh, outlet for them. Uh, I might turn around soon because getting windy. And the seat is was comfortable until now. I feel it's getting harder, so that's what I said before, 5 miles, more than, uh, I would not ride on this bike 5 miles straight, and I'm riding about 3.7, so I think I was right, so I'm gonna do one more round. So they sent me display, and I thought it's gonna take forever, because usually display is also not as easy to get, because it takes some time for them to order and stuff because they usually don't keep them up in stock and most manufacturers don't produce their own parts they buy the brand name it was brand name so they sent me the display and I got it like within a week or so I just got recently I'm gonna replace make a video how to replace it it's super easy just attach and plug in and plug and play I guess so so Yota and Zora going on the third place for responsive support i only noticed like yota bikes before miscommunication sometimes might happen because it looks like well they are in china and the english not the first language and my english also not the first language so there might be sometimes miscommunications and i understand that and i'm not mad because i am in the same boat sometimes but again uh, when you email them, I feel like sometimes they answer you like they didn't understand you. So basically, they probably use translator and stuff. So make sure you write very well to them in good English. Um, so they can translate it, I guess, if they use translator. And also, I noticed the problem with the companies, they don't get your message when you email them. Because your message might go to spam or junk or maybe never even get to them because they're in china the system might just filter it um they are in communist country remember they are under surveillance so your message may never get to them and don't be mad it just they never got it so if you don't get respond with 48 hours try to email them again regardless of which company most of Chinese companies, uh, if they are based in China support, then you have to email them second time after like 48 hours 
or 72 hours just in Mazam again because uh, they may have holidays and they have holidays sometimes for seven days straight so they will not work for seven days and sometimes they have like difference and like so for example today it's Sunday over there it's gonna be Monday in a few hours so time difference also on support then number I guess number four or five would be one bot with one bot they very responsive to me as well the great company um, I actually they are they're a big company but at the same time the USA uh, department there's only like two people working one in support and another one in sales like who manage all this uh, sales and stuff so that's why it might take some time to get respond but they do respond but uh, again if they get the email and I had like few people already contact me in group they say oh we cannot get answer from them and I find out they never get email so as soon as I, I told them they actually email and everything was resolved so they do take care of the customers and the, another thing I like about one bot they're super honest they're very honest uh, the, I don't know whole company but the person I talked to uh, they're very honest and I respect it very much so and I know from my experience um, because um, they send me when I need any like rip, like last time I, I bought actually many one bot bicycles some of them from them on sales um, and I still have about one about three bikes I think three yeah I have at least three bicycles from one bot and um, I may sell one but I like them because I just changed the recent one I the name for it is like many numbers and I changed the speed to it's going up to 21 miles now it's very simple I have like life hack video posted as well so I like the S9 they have for about $600 which is very good quality and very nice reliable bike because never have an issue so I have about over 10 e-bikes from one bot assembled I uh, even 12 maybe and I sold some of them because I did get some for, some of them for profit I sold it locally because it was pretty good and um, I can tell you that have zero issue until like S1 have a bad battery it's only one and most likely is uh, because uh, it's got old battery and it was discharged completely and it got cells damages or the way I charge it I charge it only like maybe for one hour and then went to a ride and then the battery start to die so I charge it again and so I find out the battery is not holding the charge so they send me the battery it took some time because they are not prepared uh, they was not prepared to send out batteries of course what well, they did all the because the bicycle so cheap it's like around 300 dollars the one I bought it was like 200 on sales so there was like 216 or 19 I, I don't remember so the bicycle are ridiculously cheap for all the futures and for all the parts they have so much better than this bike for sure and cost less so and the cost less because they try to sell them out to have a new bicycle in stock so they need to free up space so now they're gonna have new models but uh, hopefully the price will be in that same range maybe about three or four hundred dollars maybe five hundred i'm not sure but the bicycle mm, really good quality like i mean for the mini bikes i'm not saying they are premium but they are they most likely like the premium for mini bikes because everything works on the bicycle never have any issue until you know because 
they are quick and they are holding charge usually very well the pedal assist works good they have like few pedal assist levels display headlight so and aluminum light so the same size bike would weigh only like 37 38 pounds about 10 pounds less that's a difference and more features and cost less so and they give you free helmet so really like them and also they responsive so so one bot would be the number six i guess and um, yeah, so number six one bot let's see who else well be cool i have a um, be cool issue like um when i was recording video uh, i got caught to i think pop but uh, it was not a show after because it was disappeared but oh the display the display was showing me different numbers and the numbers was not correctly on the like on display so they sent me brand new display uh very quickly actually so many people post problem with the be cool on the parts but i think if they have the parts they're very responsive uh then uh, but i would not put them number seven i would put probably a little bit below because let's see i think i have a nocta bike that's falling which was also i guess a nocta bike um number seven would be even like yeah about number seven because with nocta bike i also replaced controller when i was running uphill i think the controller burned out and they send me very quickly they send me controller they also used to be very responsive i'm not sure right now and um, uh, some employees change usually so but the word is nice and sweet like basically they're taking care of right now of customer training they send me some uh, even a christmas gift <laughs> very nice thank you <laughs> but they did send me parts when i need it uh, i was controller as well i did video they have no issue with that so some company like uh so i would say nocta number seven they've been good but um, they do have a lot of parts sold on the website so nocta i think was one of the uh, one of the oldest companies as well and they i'm not saying they have the best bicycles but they do have a, a lot of parts available and ijo i miss the ijo so the ijo company um i didn't have any issue as a, a real issue but uh, i was taking this one uh, on the riding and folding it and it stopped turning on so uh, i would say they are they're probably uh, like in a place like number four or five actually so it's very hard to rate them because they're local they're responsive i talked to the owner easily on the phone easy to reach so it's the only one company i think i talk on the phone so it would be ijo and bandit i spoke but let's talk about ijo uh, so nocta would be probably seven or six so ijo would be probably all the way to the top like two or three probably as well uh, i have issue so the issue was that power would not on and i thought maybe controller because it would not turn on um so uh, he the owner will told me contact as uh, they have a person like mechanic alex i believe yeah i think his name alex so i call him up they have a shop they have few shops actually in san diego so i call him up and talk to him and say hey, what can possible be wrong and i tested the battery the battery is good and he told me he has the idea maybe the battery when i insert the battery there is connection maybe you need to replace so i'll send you one so they send me right away this connector and everything but uh he asked me if i know how to do it i said of course it's easy for me i already did many bicycles before um replacement so when i uh, get the part i start to open up and remove everything and then turn out to be 
there was no issue with the parts at all but they did, they did send me quickly the issue was the cable was basically just unplugged inside uh, because there's long cables inside but when you fold it and I guess that may happen to any bicycle it just pull out and it's just unplugged inside the cable and because it's concealed inside the battery is everything concealed you cannot see it until you fully remove it and when I remove it I find out the battery was not connected so I just plug it in back put all together and now I have extra parts which I don't really need it but I'll just keep it it's small part they send me right away so each your company can do a video call talk to you over the phone during the business time in America time and they speak English not very well so basically you don't need any translator and their company like most people wants to support local businesses so they are local and they have nice bicycles so zero issue with the bicycle itself other than unplugged but um, so this many good experience I have like uh, so even be cool like many people say bad they are very quick and get back to me very quickly same thing um, I have experience with uh, which one well Nocta bikes good uh, which one I have um, okay let's get back to the worst experience and I didn't have many actually I have only one company who gave me hard this time and I tried to be it was one of my first bicycle and I tried to be really cool I even pay for my shipping for the shipping uh, to send me back the bicycle like the so it was a g-force I like the bike and the g-force uh, the support was not well the lady whoever I spoke to I don't remember her name so how it works usually they don't build their own bicycles they usually um, hire like order from manufacturer and if you have any issues they would send to a mechanic and mechanic would say the issue right here and so on so after running off-road I believe like 25 or something miles a road of road was very excited for the first time riding electric bicycle like that off-road uh, I start to have issue with motor it would just run up to 10 miles with a lot of noise so we find out the motor issue and there's no way to replace they have no motor replacement so but they did have a different bike in stock that told me only few left different color I say I don't care color send me one and they didn't want to send me as they say well you have to pay for shipping uh, because the bicycle expensive I think the bicycle was like around thousand dollars only but still I say I can send you the bad one back if you want to no we don't need the old one keep it so like recycle it donate it whatever I just pay us the shipping and shipping usually not cheap for bicycles so I say okay I'll do it no big deal um, not only I did review for them but I did that no cost review of course no uh, no affiliate links nothing so zero interest other than bicycle I kept but I paid some of, actually the first bicycle I got from them also it was not completely free I paid for that as well some part so some people expect to get free bicycles from company with no subscribers or no experience on YouTube it's very hard um, some companies send to many but uh, and there's a lot of scam right now and I don't blame companies they bring a lot of money to the scammers and there's many website I mean channels who are scammers they create free uh, they create uh, the website YouTube uh, channel with buying a lot of subscribers fake views and they scam those companies and they buy views every time so you might you probably know those channels because I will not name it but there's about 10 of them the one you would not even believe anyway so they asked me to pay and I paid I got the new bike and then the bike have a damaged fork so I couldn't use this and uh, the damage fork was uh, damaged probably even before it left the China most likely or maybe pushed from the side I don't know the box was not damaged 
So they didn't want they didn't want to replace the fork. They told me uh, well it took forever but the fork is not that expensive since um, it's uh, about 100 dollars and the fork was actually not as good anyways the fork was actually a weak point on this bicycle so i replaced the fork i bought like an air fork and i replaced the fork by myself make a video to show how to replace it so on and uh, g4 they didn't like the, uh, they didn't want me to have the video about Ben Ford, so they asked me to remove the video and that it has been full, like fork and so on and I said um, I don't remove videos come on I mean it's, I will tell that if you send me parts I will tell you like uh, I will announce that you guys send me but I'm not removing because it's, I'm not making bullshit uh, review like you know I guess it's a share my experience so they sent me fork probably about two months a month later on when i already installed it i still have the fork actually because um i never use this but they did send me fork but it took forever it was different fork i'm not sure if it will fit most likely it will fit need some adjustment but they did send me fork but since then i never reviewed the bikes for two reasons one reason they are pissed at me and they put me on the blacklist most likely because i refused to remove the video and second i'm not really eager anymore to review them because um, it's uh, not only me i see a lot of posts like hard time to get uh, parts or any issue you will be like basically stuck with the bike and um, they do use some uh, parts which you cannot buy so basically i don't really recommend them and i never like so i cannot recommend them to buy G Force, but they never will send me probably a bike anyway so and i'm not disappointed uh, but they do have nice bicycle now so the G Force was the worst and um, I, I rode it about let's see six and a half miles which is not bad and this is the battery okay the battery about to die on the on gopro and i have only two bars left so you can ride about 15 miles but mostly i pedal it so i'm not sure like 15 to 30 miles i say but this bike designed for 165 pounds and i am way above i'm 215 but it comes with a rock so if you like a person 511 easy to ride it actually pedaling real nice i highly recommend to check it out i'll post link in description i think it's like with discount about to $350 only and uh, I'll see you guys thank you guys for following if you like this video subscribe to my channel so you, tomorrow will be new video and I'll do 30 e-bikes ride maybe more and uh, another rule I decide to implement so uh, if I post if I make one unboxing video with riding I will skip the day so I'll post the video in the following days because I don't want to post two videos in the same day so if I post by uh, like video about this bike so I will not post riding challenge but I didn't give up I'm gonna record it but I'll post it the following day thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye